All right, in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our basic ASAD model, and we're gonna look at what happens to the economy when there is a decrease in aggregate demand. Now, if you don't recall what might cause a decrease in aggregate demand, this right here is or are the reasons why aggregate demand curve shifts. Pick one of these, any one of these that you might be interested in that might cause the aggregate demand to decrease. For today's example, what I'm going to be using is a decrease in wealth. And what causes a decrease in wealth? Well, let's say the stock market collapsed. If the stock market collapses, people feel less, there's less wealth in the economy, their asset value falls, they feel less wealthier. And recall, your aggregate demand curve is equal to C plus I plus G plus NX. A decrease in wealth is going to decrease consumption. So now let's go to our model. We have price levels on our Y axis, real GDP on our X axis. We know that long run aggregate supply curve is vertical. Short run aggregate supply curve is upward sloping. Aggregate demand is downward sloping. I'm going to label our equilibrium point A. We know that Y star is there and P star is right there. So this is an economy that's in equilibrium. Once the stock market collapses, wealth decreases, and therefore consumption begins to fall. A reduction in consumption means that the aggregate demand curve is going to shift to the left, a decrease in aggregate demand. And I'm gonna color this in green. So our aggregate demand curve is now at AD2. Our short run equilibrium is at point B. We call this our short run equilibrium because the intersection of aggregate demand and short run aggregate supply curve happens at a point that is not on our long run aggregate supply curve. So at any point, if our intersection of short run aggregate supply curve or aggregate demand and aggregate demand are not on our long run aggregate supply curve, then we know this is a short run outcome. So what's the state of life at point B? The consumption or personal spending has decreased in the economy which caused a reduction in uh, aggregate demand curve. Price levels will decrease to P1 at a price level below where they started. More importantly, our output Y1 is below our potential output. So what's happening in this economy? What's happening is we have a recession. The unemployment rate in this economy is going to increase. So our U1 is going to be greater than U star. We have more unemployment in the economy than natural rate of unemployment. So cyclical unemployment is positive. The economy is in recession. Firms are not able to sell all of their products. Therefore, firm profits are decreasing. So how does the economy return back to equilibrium at this point? Well, what's going to happen is remember people are unemployed and when you first become unemployed, let's say you had a job where you're making $45,000 a year. When you first lose your job, you might collect unemployment, you're searching for your for a new job, you stick to the price that you initially or the wage that you initially had and you start to look for jobs around the $45,000 wage. Well, there's a lot of people that are looking for jobs. Firm profits are lower, you're in a recession. After a while, you start to realize that you need to pay your bills. And if you need to pay your bills, some wage is better than no wage at all. So you start to accept lower wages. You will go for 40,000, 35,000. And if you and many other people are doing this, then what firms can do is they can reduce their cost of production by paying lower wages. And in this case, that will cause the short run aggregate supply curve to increase because firms are able to have lower cost resources, labor in this situation. 
So our short run aggregate supply curve is going to increase. And now our equilibrium is at point C. What happened to price levels? Well, they fell further to P2. This is what happens when all prices in the economy are able to adjust. So the move from P to P1 was only some of the prices adjusting. From P1 to P2, all the other prices in the economy, namely wages, were able to adjust. We're able to produce more and return to our production of Y star. However, now our employment is going to be at U star. That means we are able to hire more employees and get back to our old production output. Price levels are lower, but most importantly, our real GDP is still the same. So we're producing the same amount of goods and services and, and, and as a result. And that's how the economy returns back to equilibrium. The managing force, the thing that adjusts the economy without any government intervention is individuals accepting lower wages when the economy goes into recession. The longer it takes for individuals to start to accept lower wages, the longer we remain in a recession. But that's how we get back to equilibrium when there's a reduction in the aggregate demand curve. Next, we're gonna look at an increase in the aggregate demand curve.